I'm helping a ton of people in these Facebook groups. I'm launching campaigns as part of the group. So there was a lot of, um, yeah, there was a lot of, of ex exposure for me um, to, to make this happen. Um, I would have never seen this opportunity had I not been actively involved in those uh, communities. Uh, so this is another making your luck happen, right? Um, I applied for it. They, they gave me the, the interview. They asked me a lot of questions about what I do and how I how I think about crowdfunding. Um, it was very interesting. But uh, but anyway, so I got picked up, and that was what I was doing at the time. As part of uh, Neo Griffin, I would travel to not as many shows as, as I in normal world. I I, I go to traditionally 15 to 20 uh, times a year now. But at the time, I was going to uh, quite a few less, maybe closer to six or seven. The major ones that that Eagle Griffin goes to. Um, and at this event, at these events, um, I would talk to more people of me, more people in the industry, working in the industry. Um, and one of those people was Nick Pan. Um, uh, Nick Pan is the owner, the CEO, owner of uh, Long Pack Games, is a manufacturer in China. Um, and he was going through, uh, uh, you know, with with his smaller team at the time, going through all of the boots. If you've been through a dimension, if you worked a dimension, you've seen this before, where they go to, like, all of the manufacturers will make their rounds and go to the booths and talk to people. Um, and what I noticed was that uh, uh, Long Pack Games did not have any U.S. representation. Every time they went to a show, every time I saw a name at a show, it was because people came from China uh, to that show, and, and I told them, hey, man, like, that seems inefficient. You... you you maybe have a need for a U.S. Uh, representation so that you can uh, do your do your job more efficiently. Uh, in that conversation, uh, I pitched him this idea of like you should have maybe like a U.S. sales manager and they can travel to these shows. You can still fly over a couple uh, of the of the Chinese colleagues and, and and do it that way. But you don't need to bring the whole team every time. You, you can have someone who's already tapped into the industry. Um, so so at Long Beck. <laughs> Uh, Ning said, that's a great idea. Would you write up something that would... I, I'm going to get in trouble with Ning, with, by, by the way, so you're enjoy, enjoy this. Uh, I may be looking for job after this. Um, the, uh, Ning's like, write up what the job description is and send it to me, and, and I will maybe tweak it if I need to. But uh, what ended up happening was it, it was pretty much unchanged, and they posted it up on, uh, I think, Facebook Jobs at the time or whatever. Or, no, it wasn't even Jobs. They didn't have Jobs yet. It was... It was uh, it was just like a posting saying, you know, apply to this position. Um, I wrote the job description the, for the thing that I thought would be a good idea. So, of course, I met the qualifications for the job that I created. So, I applied for this job, and I got I got picked up by them, and now I still work for them, and I'm having a great time. They're, they they treat me well. There's a, there's a uh, we go to a lot of shows, and we help people make games. It's been a, it's been a blast, to be honest. Um, so, so my lesson for this is at some point you just need to jump. Like, like meeting enough people is the only way to make that happen. But at some point you really just got to be like, uh, like make make the luck that is going to happen in your life. You just have to do. This goes into even launching a campaign. Like, don't be afraid of like I'm not ready. Like, you're going, no one's ready. No one's ever ready for a launch, right? You just you just hope for the best. You hope you've done enough homework, you've done enough pre marketing, etc. To just make sure that you're going to be successful. Uh, yeah. yeah, hopefully he doesn't mind me talking about this, but uh, I did apply like a normal person. Like other people applied too. I just also was the most qualified because I wrote the, the description. So it was, it was everything was on above board. I just submitted to him a job that I thought would be cool. And and like add to that too, like a lot of folks like you're mentioning. Obviously, we're not going to events now, but you know, I, I do agree when the dust settles, we'll be getting back on that. And you're going to meet a lot of people, and you're going to you never know who you're talking to. You might get a picture, know. you might get a connection. Um, and my, my point is just to kind of like, like if someone posts a story on Facebook or they put that up on video and they're going to get like, like not that they're going to see all six of them obviously from the press, but like there, there will be times when people are like, yeah, they help with this. Oh, yeah, I can maybe do that. Like just say yes and do it and, and see right. that, that path could lead to so many directions. Like uh, I'm no expert at that because I've definitely passed my fair share of opportunities, but uh, I, I see at these conventions, I can like hear these opportunities all around me and some people are taking them and some people are passing them up. So just be hyper aware of it. It's a skill to acknowledge that and to it follow is, through It really that. is. Yeah, you just gotta see something like, I wanna be part of that and just 